Proxy and Soul, Starseed Live. Good morning, brothers and sisters. How are you all? Bear with me, please. Just turn in the music now. Okay. If you like the music I'm playing in the background, it's Indian, sorry, American. Ancient American flute music. Namaste, brothers and sisters. Uh, namaste. Bear with me, because through the video, I'm going to be eating and drinking as it's morning time and I is hungry. <laughs> so, we've got some dried fruit, some coconuts, raisins, and bananas, and uh, of course, some water, spring water with um, quartz crystals in it. Yeah, um, uh, White Tara, um, one of the ascended masters, White Tara, a goddess if you like, has been coming through to me a lot recently um, about continuing to purify myself in whichever way that may be. Um, yeah, so, um, you know. It's just, um, it's all about awareness, which is what I'm going to talk to you about today. And uh, bringing awareness into your every single daily routine. Um, as I've already shown you, the previous steps to ascension that I personally used and that I've ex extensively researched about all of them. Um, there was the affirmations creating your altar feng shui in your home and then there was meditation and now this next one that I brought into my life was awareness now I purified, my, well I'd started, I hadn't fully, I'm still purifying my home now two, three years from starting so you, you know, not the same home, <laughs> not the same home but um, what I mean is each step in ascension it will never leave you once you begin these steps affirmations feng shui meditation awareness etc they will only grow and deepen every every single aspect has so many petals around it if you like it's like a flower yeah a beautiful rose it's one rose however it has many individual flowers and that's like meditation for example, I said to you, start with guided meditations and then create your own, etc. I started with guided meditations and now I can sit and imagine, and visualise and meditate and do all that kind of stuff without being guided through it. I can guide others through it now. And that's what I mean, how every single step is a process. Uh, and you will get to deeper and deeper levels of learning about these steps. Mm. Okay, so I'd just like to do a little shout out to um, Grace and Thomas, as it's pronounced in Gaelic, I believe you said. And oh my gosh, I'm so sorry to your mum as well. I can't believe I forgot the mum's name. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but to you guys, thank you for watching. I really, really appreciate it. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm just really happy that you're finding something useful out of it. Um, you know, I'm just in service and that's just, but thank you. Um, so hi guys, how are you? <laughs> All the way from England, UK brother. <laughs> oh dear, wow. Okay, so what I'm gonna talk to you about guys is your fourth step in ascension. Well, the fourth tool that I personally used was mindfulness. Now. The first group I went to was a mindfulness group. That was the first sort of group I found when I when I started to remember who I was, if you like, or rather I, my amnesia had started slowly fading. I, re, I uh, went to a mindfulness group through the mental health service. So I was fascinated about mindfulness and finding more out about the brain and stuff. Um, and it was amazing. It was really good, really good. And that was my first um, workshop in this path and then um, I went to workshop 
um, about uh, in Charlene's workshop, which who went there, you know what that was about, uh, more about ascension and more in depth and oh, it was amazing. And then I went to a shamanistic workshop recently, which was really, really amazing as well. Um, so it just goes to show you, you start implementing these tools that I'm giving you if you feel guided to, I'm not telling you what to do, that's completely up to you, but if you feel guided to, I suggest you trust your intuition always, no matter who you're talking with, always center in your intuition, you know. Um, but yeah, um, all of these tools have so many facets, okay, and so don't ever feel like you, you've not you've done it wrong or you've not done it right or there's you know don't let that get in the way of doing it because there is no wrong or right there's only do you know um the only thing that would harm you is procrastination in all honesty that is the only thing that would harm you because that stops you going forward on your path you know and um I did for a long time, many years I procrastinated, many, many years. Um, I was going through a lot in my life growing up, a hell of a lot. Um, and yeah, you do, you kind of lose yourself and it, everything just becomes really challenging, you know. Um, but that's because you're going against the laws of the universe. And uh, But that's another video anyway. <laughs> Sorry, get back to awareness, okay. Now, I'm going to read a couple of pages to you from this book, because this book was the first book I started reading, and it's really good. I advise anyone to get it if they want to know deeper about mindfulness. This is the Mindfulness for Dummies. Uh, <laughs> not a dummy, but it's very, um, it's very clear and straightforward, and at the time I got this, I wasn't very clear, so it helped me, you know, it helped me to understand a lot. I didn't read it all actually, I've only read a bit of it, but I've started reading it again now. Okay, mindfulness means paying attention on purpose in the present moment with qualities like compassion, curiosity and acceptance. For being mindful, you discover how to live in the present moment and in an enjoyable way rather than worrying about the past or being concerned about the future. The past is already gone and can't be changed. The future is yet to arrive and is completely unknown. The present moment, this very moment now, is the only moment you truly have. Mindfulness shows you how to live in this moment in a joyful way. You'll find out how to make the present moment a more wonderful moment to be in. The only place you can create, decide, listen, think, smile, act or live. Wow. So what it's saying here is mindfulness allows you to release anxiety. It allows you to drop the past, not even consider the future, and be centered in this very now moment. For example, instead of me thinking about, oh, I'm gonna upload this video, How, is it gonna help anyone? Is it gonna serve anyone? I'm not thinking about that, which the past me would have done that. But now I'm thinking, wow, this chair, I like rocking in this chair and, you know, I'm sharing with my family and this is beautiful and it's a beautiful day and it's, it's chilly outside, which means we can stay in and snuggle and, you know, it's, do you get what I'm saying? Mindfulness enables you to let go of anxiety. You can develop or deepen mindfulness through doing mindfulness meditations on a daily basis. Now, I explained a little bit about meditation in the last video. I think of mindfulness meditation is more like, for example, when you go to eat something, for example, I'll get some food. Okay. When I'm at the supermarket, it takes me ages. I'll tell you why. This is me. Hmm. Where does the food come from? What chemicals are in here? None, okay, that's good. Where does the food come from? Ah, oh, look, okay, that's even better, yeah. Right, yeah. Okay, how about allergy? Ah, oh, oh, even better, okay. 
Was the fruit hurt when it was picked? Was it picked with love? Was it grown locally? Was it grown abroad? Was it blessed when being grown? The hands that brought it to you, are they blessed? Are they pure? Are they love? Another example is before I eat food, obviously I read all the ingredients on the packets, etc. Because the amount of rubbish in modern day food, if you're not eating mostly plant based diet, natural diet, you're going to be full of so many toxins. Toxins that do not serve you in any way. And these toxins only hinder your growth in every way. Before I eat food, mentally, I always bless the food, thank the food, and I bless the hands that brought it to me. The hands, the elements that grew it. The hands from the people who picked it, uh, planted it, raised it, picked it, packaged it, and sent it to the shop where I then went and bought it. I bless every single one of them beans that got this food to me. Because I realise the journey the food has been on to get to me. And I realise how many there are suffering of starvation in this world. You know? So it's good to always bless your food. Charge it with high Reiki energy. Ask it to be blessed and charged with pure Reiki energy. Avoid anything that isn't natural, basically. Um, yes, it can be more expensive. When you bring awareness into your life, you'll notice certain things. You won't want to eat certain things. You, you won't want to be around certain areas, people, events, things on the media. You know, um, awareness really cultivates a deeper, a deeper answer to every single question that you self-inquiry with. Awareness broadens all of that on every level. I never used to be aware. I used to be so switched off, it was unreal. I used to eat microwave meals, processed microwave meals. Ugh. The stuff was killing me, never mind the microwaves that I was cooking it in. Honestly, guys and girls, when you bring awareness into your life, you really, really start to appreciate everything and the depth of its journey to get to you. Everything. Even the elements. The elements provide us with oxygen with food, with cleansing water, with sun that grows and, and heals, you know? The elements provide us with everything. Yet, do we do anything for them in return? Do we ever thank them for breathing? I do regularly, but, you know, in general, are they considered in awareness in their daily state? No. And it's very sad, because nature, our life depends on. You know? Okay. Okay. Understanding mindfulness. Excuse me, please. Okay. Mindfulness was originally developed in ancient times. Okay? and can be found in the Eastern and Western cultures. More Eastern, the West like to keep everything West. Uh, mindfulness is a translation of the ancient Indian word sati, that means awareness, attention and remembering. For example, if you look at a cat, the cat is constantly aware. Every sound, smell, sight, it's like this, it's never rested. Especially outdoors, it's always dun, 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 dun. It's always aware, aware, aware of everything. You know, it's so in the moment. 
you know? Just stare at a cat for a while, watch it, just watch how aware it is, how alert it is. And you, you'll see an example of awareness in its purest form. Awareness, this is an aspect of being human that makes you conscious of your experiences. Without awareness, nothing would exist for you. Attention, attention is focused awareness. Remember, what you focus on grows because you're an energetic being. So what you put your energy into grows. So for example, if you focus on, you know, I don't know, let's just say negative implements about yourself and your life, worry, fear, anxiety, focus, all that energy will make that event happen. Because you're a co-creator, remember? You create your life with your thoughts and actions and feelings, etc. So it's so important to have attention, focused awareness on the things that you love about your life and that you want to desire to, to bring into your life. Because them things, when you focus on the positives in your life instead of the negatives, that focused attention makes them positives grow. And it really does work, guys and girls. I've done this. I'm not making this stuff up. I'm, I'm living proof that awareness works. If some of you knew me a few years ago, you, you, wouldn't, you just wouldn't believe it's the same girl. Seriously. You know, I've always been the same girl in my heart, but I had a lot of junk around me. I really did. But I've got rid of all that and it's, oh, it's freeing, you know? Okay. Remembering, this aspect of mindfulness is about remembering to pay attention to your experience from moment to moment. Being mindful is easy to forget. The word remember originally comes from the Latin re again or memori, be mindful of. Okay, say you want to practice mindfulness to help you cope with stress at work. Think about your forthcoming presentation and begin to feel, and you start to feel stressed and nervous. By becoming aware of your emotions of your when you're thinking, you remember to focus your mindful attention to your own breathing rather than constantly worrying. Feeling your breath with a sense of warmth and gentleness helps slowly to calm you down. And the sea goes in, and then the sea goes out. And the sea goes in, and the sea goes out. And the sea goes in, and the sea goes out. See, when I feel like I'm starting to get a little bit anything that isn't serving me, An idea that's just come to me is to do that, to visualize the ocean coming in and out with three long deep breaths and that totally centers you and calms you down. Okay, right, the Japanese character for mindfulness, the character com combines the words for mind and heart and beautifully captures the essence of mindfulness as not just awareness but awareness of the heart. Now this is the Japanese symbol for mindfulness. I'm going to paint this and put it up in my room by my my office in my house. Do you like it? You can see it. I hope you can see it. I like that a lot. Good symbol there. Okay. So we get some more food if that's okay. Bear with me please guys. Mmm. Okay, I'm going to read you one more page. Dr. John Kabat-Zinn, who first developed mindfulness in a therapeutic setting, says it can be cultivated by paying attention in a specific way. In the present moment and as non-reactively, non-judgmentally and open-heartedly as possible. So... Paying attention. To be mindful, you need to pay attention. Whatever you choose to attend to. Present moment. 
the reality of being in the here and now means you just need to be aware of the way things are as they are now your experience is valid and correct just as it is non-reactivity I was, I was explaining this in the meditation video normally when you experience something you automatically react remember I was saying mindfulness meditation helps us to respond instead of reacting you automatically react to the experience according to your past conditioning for example I still ain't finished my work you react with thoughts words and actions in some shape mindfulness encourages you to respond to an experience rather than react to it a reaction is automatic and gives you no choice a response is deliberate and considered action non-judgmentality the temptation is to judge experience and others as good or bad something you like or dislike I want to feel bliss I don't like feeling afraid letting go of judgment helps you see things as they are rather as they are rather than through the filter of your personal conditioning from the past open-heartedly mindfulness isn't just an aspect of mind mindfulness is of the heart as well to be open-hearted is to bring a quality of kindness compassion warmth and friendliness to your experience for example, if you ever notice yourself thinking I'm useless at meditation, you discover how to let go of this critical thought and gently turn your attention back to the focus of your meditation, where, whatever that may be, for more of an attitude to cultivate mindfulness. Mindfulness meditation is a particular type of meditation that's been well researched and tested in clinical settings. Meditation isn't thinking, of, isn't thinking about nothing. Meditation is paying attention in a systematic way to whether you decide what you want to focus on, which can include awareness of your thoughts. By listening to your thoughts, you'll discover their habitual patterns. Your thoughts have a massive impact on your emotions and the decisions that you make, which means the life you create. In mindfulness meditation, you typically focus on one or a combination of the following. The feeling of your own breathing, any one of your senses, your body, your thoughts, emotions, whatever is most predominant in your awareness. So, what it's basically saying, as you understood it, um, so what you can do when you meditate, if for example, all right, forget meditation for a minute, you're sitting there on the sofa, wherever you're sitting, and you've got thoughts running through you, right? Now I want you to imagine a river, and I want you to imagine fallen leaves floating up the river. Now these fallen leaves are your thoughts, and the river is the awareness, you, the true being you are, behind the body, behind the mask, you're the light, you're the light behind the eyes, you're the awareness, that is your true state, is being totally in the moment and aware, not being stuck here, there, everywhere, no, 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 freedom is your initial true state, okay, your birthright in fact, anyway, so you're sitting there, you see this river and the leaves, now, one leaf could be, uh, I don't like myself, cancel, clear, delete, I love myself, <laughs> I don't like saying negative things because they really implement your moods and emotions and everything so it's hard to explain it without expressing what negative thoughts there would be but you guys know what negative thoughts are right so just see this river see the leaves see the foot see the individual leaves which are different thoughts now mindfulness gives you the chance to instead of being on the river drowning under the leaves it allows you to be above the river and picking which leaf you desire. Does that make sense? Remember, leaves are thoughts. The river is the awareness. Remember? Okay, that should make sense. Hopefully, it made sense to me. <laughs> um, yes, I was taught that in my mindfulness course that I did actually at the beginning of my journey. That was really quite cool. And I'd advise anyone to do a mindfulness course if that exists around you, or get this book which has a CD of meditations you can practice. Or to go online, YouTube's got loads of free mindfulness stuff. Um, 
you know, or if you have any questions or any comments or anything, I can try my best to answer them. I don't have the answers to everything and I always advise you to do your own research and trust your own intuition and only pick which bit resonates with you because you know yourself better than I do. I'm just passing on guidance that's helped me, that's all. Um, so yeah, um, I mean I've got to the point of mindfulness now where I have thoughts come into my head and, the, and I say, is that a God thought or is that an ego thought? Is that going to benefit me in the world or is that going to deter me in the world? And I then sit and try and juggle that, like that. I, I think about that. And that's being mindful, you know, of where your food comes from, of what you're putting into your body, of the energy people are bringing to you, of the, the media energy you're taking into your being music, TV, all this stuff, everything is energy guys, so when you become mindful you deter every single action that you take, is it godlike or is it ego-like, is it for your good or is it for your worse, basically, okay, so a mindfulness allows you to separate the illusion of ego and bring in more light, if that makes sense, into your mind, because we're so self-critical like you know human beings that have been programmed to be very self-critical and it's sad because you're an amazing co-creator you are all amazing co-creators powerful beings sons and daughters of god you know like wow chat you've got so much within you that is just waiting to pour out and each one of you have got individual unique talents God made us in this du duality realm to be just that, so we could all put the little puzzle piece that we are into the big puzzle, you know, um, and, and mindfulness really helps you to do that. Anyway, brothers and sisters, namaste. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, I really hope this has helped us. My only intention is just to be of guidance and love and um, yeah, and thank you to everyone for watching. I'm really, really honoured and humbled. One love. Mwah. Hope you enjoyed mindfulness. Now try and bring mindfulness into your day. Even if it's just, what am I eating tonight or today? Oh, where does it come from? How was it raised? What elements, you know, bless everything? You know, just try, just try it. See, just try it. Just see how you go. And don't be afraid. Because it's... I know it's new and new things can be scary but honestly I've been there and it isn't that scary after a while it's it's automatic as is all the other things in this journey after a while it becomes more automatic than oh, it's an effort to do it it becomes an automatic thing you know every day you do it more and more and you grow and you grow and you grow and it's just my amazing um, so yeah, I want you guys to find that same freedom I've found. I really do. Mwah. Lots of love to you, Proxy and Soul, Starseed Live. Mm. Peace, Emily. Bye, brothers and sisters. Bye. <laughs>